Oh, this wasn't on our sheet, but the, the Rogers Center's moving in their walls. How about that? Saw that. All the, it was interesting all the, all the hitters were like, hey, remember when we were playing in Dunedin and Buffalo and we hit <laughs> like a lot of home runs? Yeah. Let's do that. Did they did they announce it's officially a move in? I, I heard that they haven't announced what yes. the dimensions are. They're moving are. Yeah. in fences, And I know the wall heights are changing. But and they're stuff raising too. the walls. Yes. I believe the the alleys are going to be short now. Center field so. distance reduced from 400 feet to 397. Left center power alley, 375 to 366. That feels like homers. Uh, the fence and right center power alley will come in from 375 to 357. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, the power alleys are, like, in. That was already a place to hit. Yes. I, well, well, it's changed over the last couple of years. Uh, the ball, All the ballparks are playing differently because of the humidor they're, they're storing the balls in. So, uh, I forget who put it out on Twitter. Someone put out, like, the, you know, the... On um, Baseball Savant, the list, like, the best home run, home run parks. And the Rogers Center was uh, smack in the middle. And that used to be a place you went, and if you didn't hit a homer in a series, you were pissed. Uh, Chase Field out in Arizona, another place that's really been affected by that, the humidor is, um, and they just become average ballparks. So I guess they, they're they seeing this data and they want it to go back to a hitter's park. I don't know how, like, who makes those decisions for these teams? Yeah, how like, is it sanctioned? How is it sanctioned bit. is also, like, kind of... But I don't think it. Uh, yeah, it, it must be approved by someone, but I don't know like who who's doing this. Because it seems Whose like we're moving that? fences every single year now. Yeah, I feel like you need to have a time limit on this. Like, you get to move your fences, and then you can't move them again for ten years. Because otherwise, you just sign but a bunch teams- of lefties and then move right field in, or you sign a bunch. You know what I mean? Like, you can literally alter it year to year. And I don't know. There might be parameters around this that we don't know. But it does seem like it happens a lot. Like, it's not. We haven't seen like one team do it the a Mets. bunch of years, right? The Mets did it like five times over ten years. With been that many new times? stadium, you get some. You get a little extra caveat yeah. you get there like an because extra we're, move. we're figuring it out. Like when you find out what the wind tunnels are, and I know Rogers Center. It's also that the walls are like different heights throughout. It's not like a uniform height, right? Because why was, are we raising any walls? Like a home run, like robbery, robbing a home run is very cool. Like that's like a, as cool of a clip you can post in baseball, and we're raising walls. Like I, I agree, I totally agree on that. Although we've seen they already have some some decent sized walls in the Rogers Center in left field. You've seen Ben good. Revere go make plays up there. Mm. You've seen Kevin Pillar like climbing these walls. They're already like decent sized walls. I got the tweet up right here. It's our guy Paul Sporer. Shout out you, dude. Um, he just took a screenshot shout from Baseball out. Savant. So shout, shout out, out you, for that. Dude. What are you, dude? Roger Center, 17th in baseball, Park Factor. And to me, that place is one or two in my mind. But the humidor has really changed things. What, what stadium currently has 350 to right? I want to I wanna see how many uh, home runs they would have had. Trev, it's 2012. Yeah. It's you. It's Ben Revere. It's Denard Span. It's Dozier. Ryan Dalmet. Ryan Dalmet. Yep. Chris Parmalee. Darren Masterani. Fans of the show may know his name. Drew Bue. What was it like the to be a fun King? team? Yeah. We lost a lot of ball games that year. <laughs> a lot of ball games. We we worked hard, you know. I wonder what our rotation was. I will say that. <laughs> Not very good, if I had to guess. Scott Diamond. Uh, okay. A tough Liriano year. Yikes. Yeah. Nick Blackburn. Wrigley's 355. Yeah. Liam Hendricks and Cole DeVries. What did, it, what did it say that the new left field is going to be? So they had left field... Oh, that's the trade. Three, 360, you said, something like that? 375 to 366 in left and 375 to 357 in right. So I like that. At least they just switched the numbers. I'm trying to find. Okay, left's. Oh, my God. This website has what they're marked as and what they actually are. That's funny. So it's, All right, Dodger is 366 to left. I wasn't. <laughs> 
Was that on Talking Yanks or here that Happer was talking about Wrigley's dimensions? And he was like, yeah, some of those numbers might not be right because they measured them with their feet about 100 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> A guy walked just, out. Just their stride length. He's like, we're looking at yards. as it. I did all the Blue Jays home games from last year. Okay. Now I'm just looking at left center, and if it was, if it was three sixty eight, which is Dodgers, and this is just expected. We're looking at like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen more team homers, fifteen to twenty more team homers to left. Now that right center that comes into three fifty five, shit. People were already buying Dalton Varsho stock, Laddie. My goodness. Well, while we're talking ballpark shapes and renovations, we should mention Comerica's. Trev could have helped you out. Mm. We talked about that a little bit on the abs. on this show or the or baseball today. That's a, that was a big park. Right now. Last year, I got the Park Factor page up. Mm. Uh, can you guys guess the top three parks? For I'll, I'll do I'll do homers. I'll do homers. Oh, Go ahead. I don't know for homers. I know for Park Factor, it's Rockies, Fenway, and uh, Citizens Bank. Or no, 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 Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yes, oh, guess, nice, yeah. nice, yeah. James. Those are the top three for homers. Uh, Coors, Cincinnati, and then there's a uh, two California teams in the three and four slot. Angels and Dodgers. Ooh. I think this gives the Rogers Center is going to have the shortest right center now if it's 355. Citizens Bank is 357. So that'll be the shortest left lefty power alley or whatever. Man. Manoa, Gossman, Barrios, Bassett, Kikuchi. That's kind of got to be bad news for them, right? Like you basically know I'm going to give up. Man, that's just so two, two more homers than I would have. It's a it's lot, an by, yeah. But thing the Blue Jays, like, and... the team last year, they're getting like fifty homers out of this. That, according to distance projected, sure, no wind or anything, not a ton of wind in the Rogers Center. Yeah, Fenway Park, number three in Park Factor. A lot of people in, in <clears throat> my world been saying we need to get Fenway out of the game. <laughs> Not me. I think it's awesome. I love, love it. it. It is a different brand of it's, baseball. Like, I, I say this kindly. I know Yankee Stadium, we have pop-ups to shallow right field, and they're, they're pop-ups that are homers. And But Fenway, it's a different kind of baseball. It's kind of cool because there's way more offense and, like, fucking anything can do anything. But, man, watching games, like, like Red Sox fans who just grew up there watching a lot, it's like, it's way different. I mean, fly balls are singles, doubles. The outfield's got the corner. And the park factor shows it. Shows it. Like, there's just yeah. guys on base all the time. When, when you walk up uh, to the plate at Fenway and you, in their peripheral, have this massive green wall and left, mm -hmm. and you know, like, hey, I can, I can just pop one up off that thing or pop one up over that thing, no problem. You understand they're going to feed you super, you know, tight inside, and then pitch you away because right center, I mean, as a right-handed hitter, you're just like not going to go there, especially if you go in the alley in like the little triangle corner and like right center and center field, like that's very deep. And then you look down right field and that pole seems like it's right next to you, but it's hard to hit the ball that way for a right-handed hitter. So it's like, there's all these things in your mind. You kind of want to pull the ball because right center is a beast, Yeah, but, uh, but the way they pitch you, they don't allow you to do that. It, it becomes kind of like a mental game where you have to get the monster out of your head and just try to stay up the middle, and then whatever happens, happens. I wonder if the data shows, like the, like the the updated data, the Fangraphs did a whole article about it at Yankee Stadium. Lefties, if you're not like a homer, homer hitter, it actually sucks because there's just not a lot of grass to find, especially when the shift was happening. For lefties at Fenway, you always think righties get more benefit because it's so deep, but there's a lot of grass for lefties that mm -hmm. can hit singles and doubles that way. And then if they can poke it opposite, mm -hmm. like how many like Ortiz outside pitches did he just throw the barrel at and just plop it off the monster? Like, I wonder the advanced numbers, how like lefties who have those skills, it's got to be the best ballpark ever. So that's a deep that was center, a, big right. That was a Maurer discussion all the time. If Joe Maurer played in Fenway, what would his numbers be? Because he, I mean, 
how many balls did he hit down the line in left field? They were caught. Like there would have been doubles off the wall in Fenway. It was a lot. They did. I think they did. They ran the numbers. This is before we had computers apparently. So no one was really running analytics at that time, but uh, they talked about that quite a bit, like what Mauer would be at Fenway. And if anyone's a listener here and wants to put the numbers together, that'd be sick. I'd like to know. I mean, I can do it for hitters last year at Fenway. Yeah. Show, show Mauer on that 2012 team, 319, 861 OPS. Whoops. Um, yeah, it goes, it goes back. We saw the Yankees build a team of all of right-handed sluggers because when you yank and Yahtzee a home run, you get it good, there's a good chance it's going to go. But if you flick one to right, those guys are also going to get homers that way. The Yankees went too hard stacked that way. But, yeah, I think if you're a lefty that can handle the bat at Fenway, like Freddie Freeman, if he was a Red Sox, would probably have a legitimate – two of his years he would be chasing 400. Would you bet on that? I bet on a DraftKings Sportsbook. I was going to say we were talking about the run factor at Fenway. You ever check out any of those lines, they're usually plus one, plus two. 